Hello everyone, this is Joe from Super Console Bros. Today I have a video, I'm in the middle of doing the slavery that is legalized, what I like to call homework. And before I get any of those bullshit comments, oh I'd love onions on my burger, oh I like my fries extra crispy. Just to verify, there's a difference between a lazy motherfucker and a person that doesn't like school. Last year, my grades may not be that well right now, but that's only in two classes. My other classes, I have A's and B's. The only reason I have two bad grades in these classes I have right now is because I have teachers that don't know how to teach worth jack shit. And the fact that they never help me out. Anyway. And anyway, this one more thing. I got a, like a 3.6 as my GPA in my freshman year, so... Yeah, I won't be affected by any of that. Anyway, here is the reasons I do not like school at all. Whether you're in elementary school, middle school, high school, or even friggin' college. I'm a sophomore in high school right now, so, yeah. First topic is the absolute food out of a dumpster they call lunch food. If America is focused on eating healthy and giving, you know, kids or people energy and everything, then why the hell are you serving me food that you basically got in a cardboard box and thawed out? Because that's pretty much what they did. I mean, it tastes terrible. It's probably not even that good for you. It makes you feel like shit at the end of the day, and you're pretty much going to be hugging the toilet for about maybe 10, 15 minutes after you're done. Next topic, what I don't like, is the amount of homework. So you're telling me that I pretty much have to spend all day for four, for four years in the terms of like a whole high school career. I have to spend every day, five days a week, and you know what, technically even seven days, because we get so much fucking homework on the weekends. So you're telling me that for seven days a week, I have to go seven hours a day and then probably add another five or six hours into working on homework and then I have to be in bed for the next day. I know life isn't all fun and there could be hardships in life, but don't you think that our brains and our, I guess, bodies legitimately need a break? We, human beings cannot function like a fucking robot, which is exactly what these teachers think. Which is why I would rather have maybe one or two hours longer of school, and then when I get out of school, I can just relax, watch some TV, play games, or hang out with friends. I would much, 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 much rather have that, if anything. Next topic is the teachers and staff. Now, the problem I have with teachers, not all teachers are bad. I've had a couple that were nice, but the main problem with most of them, in my opinion, and with principals among, you know, other staff, whether it be, you know, helpers, janitors, things like that. First of all, if you forget to do your homework, they get all mad. Um, let me get this straight. So you're telling me on maybe in a, a, a sleeping schedule of maybe five, six hours a night, you expect me to remember to do my work every single day? I do my work every day, but I there might be a time where I might forget, and you get mad? Let me ask you this. Were you ever a kid yourself? I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Another thing. Teachers that think they're literally invincible and they do, they act so mean and so judgmental. Again, I'm not going to give any names, but I have one teacher that always puts me down all the, t all the time, no doubt. Always being mean, cutting me down on my work, cutting down my character. I have had some of the worst teachers in my opinion. Some of them think... I would have maybe back in middle school, for example, I would have help on my English. I would do most of the work and my mom would help put on the finishing touches. And the teacher would then think, oh, I'm, like in their head, you can tell with the way they look at you. 
oh, he didn't do all the work. You know, his parents did all the work. For some reason, his parents did all the work. He somehow got them to do that. You know what I say to that? Screw you, you lazy little fucking asshole. Why are you lazy? Because you won't have the time to realize that I need help. That could be a reason why. Or another thing, you don't even realize that you're being an asshole because I don't eat. I need this help. You're getting paid to help me along with the rest of the class. Do your job right for once. And another thing is pretty much 90% of the work that we do is pretty much not going to be even used in real life. For example, I'll take in a question that I already completed off of my math homework. Give me a moment. Yeah, I'm in the middle of my least favorite subject in case you people are wondering. Take the question 3x plus 2y equals 8 and 6x minus 4y equals 8, and we have to graph that. Let me ask you one question. Why and when in the hell do we have to do this? My teachers even told me themselves with their own mouths that we are not going to use this in real life. The quote-unquote thinking process will be used in real life. Well, let me ask you this. I think I can learn thinking processes from either my parents or another class. I really don't see the point of doing math up to maybe besides 5th, 6th grade because or 7th grade because what is the point? When Unless we're planning to become a math teacher, and then I don't see what that's going into. I really don't see what the point is for taking this shit. More importantly, with me being a, planning to become a writer, really, I don't think I would need this skill. Another thing. Now, this is just personal opinion, mind you. I especially don't like the teachers that are so, you know, just downright mean. You can just tell by the vibe that they fucking give off around the environment. How they act all mean. They're like, oh, I can't believe it. You didn't do this right. Does this look like the right answer to you? Well, let me ask you this. Do you expect me to get every single fucking answer right? Am I some kind of robot with a chip implant? I didn't think so. If you don't like kids and you don't like having to work in a school or school-like environment, why do you bother working here? I mean, seriously, part of me thinks that some teachers just work at schools to either get their, vent their rage because they're assholes and they're downright pricks or bitches. They don't like kids and they want to take out their frustrations when they were in school on kids or they just find enjoyment out of other people's pain and want to take it out on kids or downright they want to just make themselves feel better for the shitty lives they had or the shitty careers they have and that they don't want. Now, I am aware that you need to get educated to survive in life. I'm just telling you, let me put it to you this way for any of you people that bash on other people that watch these videos. Just because you need to get educated doesn't mean it's going to be an experience you're going to enjoy. Anyway, we don't have to like everything we do. Anyway, another thing. I don't like it when... Sorry about that, I'm kind of adjusting because my back hurts. Anyway. Sorry about that. Bit of a dilemma. But another thing. What really pisses me off is the um, way that other kids treat you. I mean, you have groups. You've got the regular neutral people, which is kind of me. You've got the nerds that I'm technically fine with. I mean, as long as they don't cause any trouble. You've got the sports junkies that act all ego-filled and self-centered and selfish and don't care about anybody and think the world revolves around them. 
Then you got the straight up bullies that are complete assholes. Then you have people that quote unquote, because I come from a school where the, everybody's pretty much a rich prick. Not me, as you can probably tell. But anyway, I'm not piss poor, but anyway. Anyway, they think that money is just going to be the best thing on the whole fucking planet. And they think that, you know, whatever... Let me put it to you this way. They think that just because they're rich, they can get away with anything. For the majority, that's pretty much how it is. Now, in the terms of people, you have the regular people. Now, I'm talking in the terms of personalities. You have the regular people, like me. You've got the lazy asses that don't even know anything or do anything... You've got the stupid idiots that like to act stupid in order to get other people's blood to boil, that legit act like idiots and just, like, make random noises or scream loud or say stupid shit just to piss you off. Then you have the boasting assholes that, like, oh, I just got a, I just got a three touchdowns on the football team. Yeah, think I care? It's not my life. Brag to your sports friends. I don't care. And what really frustrates me a lot, though, is, now, I'm not being sexist, but I'm just telling you from my perspective, this is pretty much what the school is. Now, not all girls or dudes are like this, but anyway, in the topic of girls, the problem I have is you either have the complete bitches that are on permanent periods, that are completely PMSing all the time, you have the sluts. And you have the girls that think they're so big or so popular or such big shots. And the big shots part can go with a dude, too. But, um, you know, in the terms of them thinking there's something special when they're nothing but another person or, more importantly, an asshole. But in the terms of girls, they think they could do whatever they want with that. Or they think they can pretty much get away with anything. Now, not all girls are like that, so don't take it as a sexist remark. And I apologize to anyone I've offended. I'm just talking about the majority of the people I'm surrounded by. Some of my best friends from school are actually girls, and I've known about five of them. Now, keep in mind, I'm surrounded by assholes. I, like, the civilized people is the minority, and there's like five or f eight people that I know that are nice, pretty much. Pretty much schools are living hell for me. But not everybody's mean. And, yeah, you get the idea. And probably the worst, worst, absolute worst part, in my opinion, is the fact that we got to get up so long. You know, I already mentioned homework, how we got to spend three hours more. Just let me enjoy my life and enjoy my, the rest of my day. But the worst part is getting up early. I have to get up at around uh, 6.40, around 6.30, and be in by 8.10. Let me tell you this. You idiotic teachers expect, and wait, one other thing, teachers that treat us like we're five years old, they're like, oh, you know, you know, I expect you to be energetic on the top of, on, on the best of your character, the best work ethic, I expect you to be full of energy. Well, that kind of links to what this is. Sorry for the bad impression, I guess, but the point is, let me get my motherfucking sleep. I can't focus worth shit if I'm too tired. If school maybe started at a different time, I'd rather, again, I'd rather have two more hours of school and then just be left alone to relax and play games. And I'd maybe rather have, have it start at a different time, like maybe 10 or 11 or night school even. Oh no, night school is for the bad people. Um, actually, to be honest with you, I would rather relax during the day and just do my school at night, or schoolwork at night. And one other thing to add on to that, I'd rather have two hours and no homework at all. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Teachers that hate kids, too much work, and pretty much interfering with our lives so much where people rant about it, and it's so irrational, and teachers just don't care. Well, let me tell you why, because most teachers are there just for the fucking paycheck. Anyway, this is Super Console Bros. Keep on gaming. I gotta finish up some homework, so, yeah. See ya.